going to give you option number two on Tough Bay install. This will allow you to keep foam in the bottom of the airplane rather than cutting it all the way out. So if you want to do it this way, this also gives you the option. This is a bay out of the other airplane that we cut out the other day. It gives you kind of an idea of how much we actually, sorry, yeah, actually how much we've taken out of the bottom of the airplane. About, about a third of it has come out in thickness here. So we'll go through and show you exactly how to do that. So what, what you're going to want to do is cut the front of the airplane off like you would do for the regular tough bay. And you're going to cut the inside basically right there nice and square right up, right up to that edge. And then you're going to follow this line here and you're going to cut this nose off and leave just the bay bottom in the airplane and that's it. Use a brand new razor blade, it really helps. You're not going to be able to get a good quality cut without a nice new razor blade. There you go, now you got the area for the tough bay in the, in the airplane. So to get this thing to fit in like this one does, what you would do is set your depth. Set your depth. You can also see the razor in behind there. So you're going to want to go a little bit down in, but if you set your depth just right, you can cut this on this line, the depth that you need. And just follow that line, and you're going to cut the side of that bay out. Like I said, brand new razor blade is going to be a key to this. You can always cut a little shallow and go back and cut a little more if you have to. Just take your time. And this allows you to get this piece out of here first you'll do is just go ahead and get it close to the bottom and just cut that initial piece out. Now you got a nice cut and cut that piece directly out of this airplane. Okay, now you can see the differences still. So now what you want to do is the bottom of the actual bay on the airplane, we're going to want to cut approximately this much out, which is about three millimeters or so. So what you would do is take that bay, see you can actually adjust your depth, and you can see your razor blade underneath the airplane. So start about, a, start about a third of the way down and do it from the top, from the, from the actual bay bottom. And you can see your razor blade inside there. That's basically what you would want to do. You can see the differences. And you can test fit it a few times. So what I did is when I got to this point, I set this built piece down on top of the airplane and I traced out where these cutouts needed to be here. And after I traced those out, which I know like on this airplane, which I, once I traced them out, I took a saw, and basically sawed that out to fit that in, which is about approximately like that. This is an example. And then here, instead of cutting it straight across, I did a little like about a three degree down. But you need to make your marks on your airplane to get those 
into the exact spot. But this is basically the tool I would use. And then I would come in like this. And you can do it a little more gently if you want. This is just as an example. So basically, once that's done, that would slide down here, slide your bay in, and your top, if you can see it here, your top is gonna be level with the airplane's top. And literally a perfect fit in the front end, and you can leave that area in there. And what's nice is you do still have a little bit of flexibility room on the inside to get your Velcro straps in before you do this. And like Ron was showing me a little bit ago, we have the capability of popping this arm out of the side here and plopping the ruby directly in there. And this is gonna help you retain the strength in the airplane, but still be able to have the ruby with this side piece in here. So you can cut these areas out during your build and have this. And this will allow you not have to go through and cut the whole bottom of the airplane out like the option one bid that we gave you previously. So there you go. Any questions, hit me up. But that's a super easy way to do it. Take your time to do it. You can get it right. Just use a sharp razor and take your time.